Today I'm going to show you how to create a divide by 3 using 4 CRC belonging to 16F183258888 microchip. So this is the template I'm using. 3, 2, input, D, flip flop. And end gate with two inverted input from CLC4 and CS2. So this is the working example which I'm going to show you today. And this is the virtual representation of using D flip flop. And gate inverter instead of OR gate, I'm using two diodes connected in parallel, which act as a OR gate. The R1 is a 4.7 kilo ohms in virtual, but in actual experiment, I'm using 2.2 kilo ohms. So this is the divide by 3 counter with 50% duty cycle. Let's assume 30 kilohertz input. Output will be 10 kilohertz. See? 3 cycles. On always, yeah. Let's reduce the frequency. So 19 kilohertz, we do not know what's the frequency, let's divide by 3, 16.333 kilohertz. So we're going to start with the programming, make sure you capture this screen and you get everything you do everything correctly. Take note, the clock is being shut by CLC4, CLC2, and CLC1, except that CLC1 is inverted. This is the reason why I put over here. Reset for all the preform is not implemented, so it's visible. Left unused. The end gate. I'm using a 4 input end gate with two of these set as a permanent logic one invert this input or oh, output sorry and invert the LC4 out and LC2 out over here so let's start the MP left X so we're gonna select new project stand alone select PRC F one eight three two five the reason why I use this chip because it's only four D pin which contain four C L C using a big tree selecting this so I'm just select this is a problem so I'm going to select the uh, MP lab code configurator to save time before we do anything make sure we disable the low voltage programming the CRC is not dependent on the block so it is not dependent 
whatever I said over here. It do not follow the core clock. MCR is not needed for this project. So let's start the villain. So I'm going to start with the CRC4. Take note, CRC4, CRC2, and CRC1 I'm using. So I just enable P7, this beta clock input. So I'm using this reference over here. I see three out, which is the CRC connected D. Move on to CNC three. So I select four input and gate two inverted input and two permanent logic one. CRC4 out and CRC2 is inverted at the input. So I start with CRC2. input if we form it R. This is the one. Chain is a clock. LC CLC four we to D. Lastly, focus on CLC1, select to input DP flop, the take note, CLC1, clock input is inverted, and the D is derived, output of CLC2 is going to D. So I invert the clock input and CSA2 up, cinema over here. So just, just double check because if you get any one of these wrong, you are divided by a three counter will fail. So please double check.
okay here at this stage this part is done as you can not see uh, there's no output from csc1 and csc2 yet so let's select pin to be the csc1 output And pin it from CNC to output. Both of these output will be connected to a diode to represent the all gate in this case. Since you do not have five CLC in this chip, so I'm going to save this project. Generate and I'm going to set make and program since I have the microprocessor connected to the PK3. Okay, at this stage the program is done. Now I'll show you the actual experiment using my scope. So this is my actual experiment using the PIC 16F18325. This time I'm using 240 ohms with 1N4148. I'm using a signal generator MHS 2300A The output is exactly one third of the input frequency at 100 kHz So do check out the slew rate which is uh, electable at around maybe 50 nanoseconds the reason why I got a good uh, improved survey because of the low register value at 240 ohms after the diode please subscribe to my channel if you like my channel thank you